composition that was so important. Like the visual side of music is so important. Like so many bands get caught up in like trying to make the the you know the number one hit yeah. of their first song. It's like that isn't it. And even if you were making the number one hit, it only matters if there is something else to go with it. Where a marketable yeah, song yeah. requires so many more pieces of marketing than just yeah the three minute song that goes to exist. And it was crazy because there's so much uh, focus on that nowadays. Like with musicians being like, oh, well now I have to become like a. a social media guru mm -hmm. too i gotta be a graphic designer and an artist yep. and all that shit and it's like i was already that to begin with so now it's like that's all i've been doing from the beginning and so like we've we've had like a good image and a good social media presence and mm -hmm. we've had all these stupid videos you know for years before it was like before there was all these music marketing gurus being like go and make tiktoks do this blah blah, blah. like we mm -hmm. were doing all that shit already and all the guerrilla marketing too that i do like i give out like i go to mad shows and i give out these stickers to everyone that leaves We've given out like a hundred thousand, like in the past couple of years. So I, that shit adds up. I watched part of uh, you guys did a podcast not too long ago with a group of three guys, and you're all at the big table. And you're talking about the stickers, mm -hmm. and it made me so happy because when I am, uh, what was the name of that podcast, by the way? Let me. Uh, that was. Uh, sorry to put you on the spot. Listen here. up, Long Island. Listen up, Long Island. Shout out to them because yeah, it was a cool thing. I saw some of it, and it was dope. Uh, the reason I love the stickers is because that's how I think I grew my business as well was business cards. And you're right that at the the meta now of growing your band is all TikTok. It's all get on there, mm -hmm. be active on stories, put a ton of posts up, put them on blah blah blah. Which works and is easy, but like you got to hit it at every angle. Yes. And you got to think of what people used to do before there was even the internet. And it, sh it worked for everyone before then, you know? 100%. And I think flyers it's flyers and stickers. Business cards are good, but like how many business cards do you end up like really keeping and looking at and calling the number or whatever? Like not a lot. So that's why we, we stick with stickers. I was talking to a friend about this the other day. Uh, he was giving out like QR codes and shit. Mm -hmm. And like how many, like when you leave a show, someone gives you a QR code. How many times are you actually scanning that or doing anything yeah. with it? Yeah. Like, most of the time, even when someone gives you a sticker, how many how many times are you looking the sticker up? Usually never. Yep. But with the sticker, you you keep it and you stick it up somewhere. You eventually you keep seeing it, and then maybe you see our name opening for some band you like, and then it's like it all clicks at that point. Yep. So right now we have a hundred thousand people waiting to to absolutely yeah. to, for it to click. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And like a couple of them have, or a lot of them actually. Every time I go and I do, like I actually just went to Punk and Drublick in uh, in Mass, which is No Effects is like big. Uh, festival and okay. they're also like retiring so it was one of their last shows Damn. so there was i don't know how many people but a couple thousand people there i gave out like two thousand stickers to yep. everyone leaving and i got like a message from somebody that like reached out and was like oh someone gave me this sticker saying this is gonna be my new favorite band and they were fucking right and blah blah like uh, and i was like oh so right there it shows that it works like yep. i've gotten emails from someone like uh like a couple weeks ago we i went to like a avril lavigne show or i think it was one of the i think it was a green day show i went to and i passed out the stickers got an email from someone that's like i don't have social media but this band is like my favorite band right now and mm -hmm. blah blah and i'm like yo it is it's working you know absolutely and you're right that like the the problem with tiktok is like it might hit someone in wisconsin and that's great but that doesn't necessarily help scooped up when you have a house show in connecticut coming yeah, up yeah my thing with the business cards was a similar thing to your point of like you might throw this business card away. That's fine with me. What I did is I got to say hi to you. I introduced myself to you, which mm -hmm. for me as a beginning person was huge. Where like when I'm still in the full like imposter syndrome, don't feel like a photo person to go say hi. I'm a photographer is a huge step for me. Well, you know, for a photographer, it's different. Like a band giving a business card, yeah, you're gonna, it's getting thrown away. Sure. When someone's like, oh, yo, I'm the photographer that you saw today, like at this event. Here's my mm -hmm. business card if you want to link up. That you you make a connection in your mind with that. And of course, there's and, a photo printed on the other side. Yeah, so like, that definitely worked for you. I could see that 100% yes. working really well for you. The other piece of this that I think is the more important is like, you're right. If I was handing a thousand business cards, probably one percent of them mattered. Like, right, it was a big number. What I do think mattered is when, uh, so I was at Webster, the Palladium, like the local kind of metal venues, was my my home at the time. And it's like for those people who are there, and I'm at the Webster four times a week at this point in my life. Like, I'm just going to any show with my camera that I can get permission to. Mm -hmm. And it's like if every time you're at the Webster, some guy comes up to you and says, "Hi, I'm the photographer." By the tenth time, you're like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So to me, it was like the longevity of it. Like, you can throw this business card away now. That's fine. By the seventh one, you're going to look me up. No, that's the same with the stickers. You know, like every time I go, like, so like I don't only hit CT shows. I go yep. to New York and Mass and Jersey and wherever like w is in like a three hour radius. Yep. I'll go and go to all the big shows and pass out these stickers. Yep. And now that I've been doing it for years, like every, like one in every three people or one in every four people will be like, oh, I've gotten this sticker. Yep. And I'll be like, well, now you have to listen to the album or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. or, or they're already a fan or people are like, oh, Scooped yeah. Up. I love Scooped Up. And like now it's literally, it's growing and and it's prove yep. it's proving itself too with our shows. Yep. You know? There's also evidence of your work ethic. I think is the other key there is like there are a lot of bands like we're on the grind. And like that doesn't mean anything. We don't know what that looks like, right? And I know mm -hmm. that producing an album is a grind, but I don't see that grind. I don't know what you guys went through to make the album. I don't know how hard it was to get the whatever the mix, right? All the revi rounds, revisions. Like I don't see yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I do see is this guy who's at every show promoting his band. And it's mm -hmm. like 
what the fuck? Like, he is, that or, is the grind. Or the videos I was putting out every day. So, like, when that album was coming out, the album we just dropped, the runs. I brought you a copy, by the way. You could Thank have this you. CD. Hell yes, dude. I love the album art. We'll get there in a minute. But yeah, yes. we also got these, uh, well, uh, we also got these baseball cards I gave you. Uh, a yes. pack of those. Thank then, you, dude. Thank, um, thank you. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> when uh, we were making this album, what was I saying? Shit. Uh, making the album, handing out business cards. Uh, you're going to three hour radius. Uh, the repeat clients of people. So you'd see them the 10th time and then they check the thing out. Um, nah, dude, it's gone. I don't remember. That's okay. That's what it do- that's <laughs> what happens down here. It just sucks thoughts out of my brain. I didn't sometimes. even start smoking yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the album. Uh, dude, what the fuck was I about to say? Um, Some of the album art, producing all the rounds or revisions that go into it. They don't see that. They just see that the, the grind. Oh, so I was making these videos every day, like yeah. leading up to the album. That's what I was going to say. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was making these little pieces of content exactly. literally for like a month straight before the album came out and a month straight after it came out. And like every day I didn't have the idea, I would wake up and be like, ah, I got to come up with a stupid, funny <laughs> yeah, video. Yep. And those resulted in the funniest things because I wouldn't have like yep. made each one if I didn't give myself that task to make a video every day yep. for that month or whatever. And like that right there shows the, you know, the drive that we had yep. besides all the stuff we're doing behind the scenes that you don't see. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Seeing someone post a video every single day about this thing that's coming out, it's like, oh, maybe maybe it's important or maybe there's a lot of work put into this. You know, maybe I should listen to it. Yes. And they, the people did. They showed up and like, Especially our album release show. Our album release show was insane. Um, I was like, last time we played Cafe 9, we had like 60 people there. And I was like, if we get 80 people, I'll be stoked. Mm-hmm. We had 200 people there Damn. throughout the whole night. And That's like, in New Haven, right? Right downtown yeah. New Haven? I've been there, and 200 sounds like it would be crazy. Well, the capacity there. is 130. <laughs> so th- throughout the whole night, it was at capacity, and people would leave, and then people would show up. So there was 200 people that came in and out. Unbelievable. Good for you guys. That rules. Yeah, it was amazing. And uh, we like didn't expect that, but it was like, holy shit, all of our work that we've been putting in yeah. is finally actually paying off and working out. Yep. And like... You would think maybe it would just kind of be like a flash in the pan type of thing. Like, oh, they released their album. Here's their album release show. It was awesome. And like maybe the other shows after that would be also pretty cool too. But it's literally continued. Like we've been selling out every local show since then. Hell yeah. And it's been almost a year. And it seems like we're just on the up and up. And now I'm just like so much, so much more stoked to do all this shit mm-hmm. and promote it. Because now I know that like, like I, I knew it was a good album when I was writing it and before we put it out. But now like seeing the reception and everyone going to the, to the shows and singing all the songs like... I really know it's a good album. So like when I go and give out these stickers and I'm at like a punk show, I know all these people, if they listen to this album and if they're into pop punk, they're going to like it. Yep. And like, it feels so good to have a product that like, like that now. Yeah. Cause I've been doing this for years and years and years without it. Like before we even had any music out, yep. I was giving out just like CDs with three songs that I burned onto a CD and just giving those out for free. And they're shitty demos that like, you know, aren't good by any means, but whoever like got those demos would see the potential and be like, Oh, sure. this is cool. I'm into this. I'm going to like, I'm going to follow. But now we finally have like the thing that yeah. like, it's all been leading up to. And it just feels so good to, to promote it because yep. I know it's a good product or whatever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I was just like hired to promote this, I'd be stoked, I guess. I don't know what That's I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, that rules. I think it's also so rare where I think the normal trend is you like, by the time the album is ready to come out, you're already thinking about the next album. You're already kind of on the next thing.